if you work with other radio stations or broadcasters around the world, or if you do outside events, nightclubs or sporting commentary, you may want to bring an external stream into your Myriad Cloud system. It's very easy to do, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do it, so let's get started. The way this works is we're going to create a special media item that doesn't use an audio file as its source, but instead a live stream. Once we have that media item, we can either drag it into the log for playback, or we can schedule it using the Myriad Schedule module. So let's get started. From the Broadcast.Radio dashboard, click on the Launchpad option. If you haven't logged in before, log in. Then click on the Connect to Live Studio option. This module gives you a live, real-time view of what's going out on your station. So here you can see the Fratellis is currently playing. Here's the log that's going to be played and here's our content. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new media item. You can create it anywhere on a media wall you like, but I've chosen to put mine at number 4000. Click on the edit button to open the media editor. And we need to choose this option here, the stream option. Next, put in the URL for the stream that you wish to open. You can also set a duration in hours, minutes or seconds. This is the maximum amount of time that this stream will be open for. So if I set this to say 10 minutes, then whenever this media item is triggered, it will open this stream for a maximum duration of 10 minutes. The final thing is the maximum retries, and this is how many times the system will try to reconnect to a stream if it loses connection, or if the stream isn't there when it tries to connect. So by setting it to five, it means that if the stream isn't available or is lost in the middle of the stream, it will actually just move on to the next item in the log, filling as appropriate. Finally, give it a title. and hit save. So let's say we wanted um, to play this item after the current item. All we need to do is pick it up and drag it into the log in the right place. And now if I press the go button, we can see that we've now connected to Orange Leaf and we're playing whatever they're playing on that radio station through our own radio station. And we will do so for the next nine minutes and 50 seconds or until we press the go button to move on to the next item. If you wish to schedule this item, go to the scheduling module. Open the advanced clock you wish to schedule it in. You can only schedule these into advanced clocks because you need to put them into the clock item list. Drag media item into the log where you want to put it. And then click on the media item and type in the number of the media item you just created. So now after this song, it will then play the stream that is in media item 4000 before going on to the link and then carrying on with the rest of the hour. And that's how you would schedule a stream to be included in your automated broadcasts.